to Incoming, the show that takes a look back at the week's historical miniature releases. This is episode 4, recording on Sunday the 24th of May 2009, and I'm your host Neil Shook. Another packed week for miniatures releases, so we'll get straight into what were my favourites of the week. First up at number 10 we have the first of a series of new releases from HLBS Co. Now, apparently most of these are actually released at Partisan today, which unfortunately I missed and included a whole new set of, rank, of figures for their ultra-modern range. This, however, is the first of their new Russian vehicle ranges, and this is their BRDM-2 in 148 scale. A really cool-looking miniature to go alongside their 40 mil Russian troops, and I'm looking forward to seeing this range as it develops. At number 9, we have a relatively new name on the Western miniature front. This is Knuckle Duster Miniatures, and up until this point they've primarily been releasing 40mm figures, but these are new sets of their 28mm range. Now the figures you see before you are a range of three US Marshals, plus some well-known figures in the Earps and the Clayton Gang. These figures certainly have their own characteristic style sculpts to them, certainly very different from someone like Black Scorpion for example, but definitely worth a look. At number 8 we have some new releases from Britannia Miniatures. These are new releases for their modern Afghanistan range and include goat herders, armed civilian security contractors and also a tribesman on a cart. Very useful periphery figures for this conflict. At number 7 we have the first of several new releases from Warlord Games. These are the first of their two previews of new 28mm Panzer Grenadiers for their bolt action World War II range. I'd really like to see more of these before I make any final decision on you know, just how good they are. But from these two particular examples, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the range. Staying with Warlord at number 6, we have a change of period, and these are some of their 28mm Celtic Bowmen. Warlord has certainly been supporting their range of plastic Celts and Romans with some excellent metal minis, and these figures look to complement their ranges very, very well. Nice dynamic poses. I must admit, a couple of them are very reminiscent of the old plutonium bowman from GW. Especially the guy kneeling about to reload his bow. At number 5, we have the first entry this week from Musketeer Miniatures. Now, these are a range of figures that they're just releasing for their between war ranges of games. What we have here is British Civil War Workers' Militia in Command, along with a World War One Russian Maxim heavy machine gun, and a British Vickers machine gun as well. Certainly some very interesting figures in this release, especially considering my current interest in this particular period. Number four, it's back to Napoleonics. This time actually from the Assault Group, and a new range for them. These are Austro-Hungarian Hussars, sculpted by none other than Richard Ansel. Now these are a new range from TAG, and also uh, a new scale as they're actually sculpted in 156th scale, not 28mm. It'd be interesting to see how these compare side by side with a 28mm figure to see what they actually mean. But some interesting things going on here. This is part of a new range for 1809, so if you're interested in this particular period, I think the assault group are worth keeping their eye on. Okay, into this week's top three, and at number three we have Musketeer Miniatures again. This time we have two new packs from their British Expeditionary Force from 1914. As you can see from these, these are both Scots. Some excellent miniatures here from Musketeer. Very characterful and, <laughs> and it has to be said, very tempting. Up to number two and we have another release from Warlord Games. This time again their bolt action range. And this is one of two vehicles they've released this week. This is a Willis Street with a 30 calibre machine gun. One of the iconic vehicles of World War II. And I think they've done a really, really good job with this kit. It's priced at £10, so it's certainly at the more expensive range of the 28mm Jeep market. But it's a nice kit all the same. Finally, number one, staying with my World War II theme. We have a new set of figures from Offensive Miniatures. It seems that US powers have been very popular with many manufacturers recently and we've seen several new releases. These are, of course, Pathfinders from the 101st Airborne, and I think you'll agree, these are slightly different poses, which kind of make them stand out from the crowd when it comes to the current batch of 28mm US powers on the market. Some interesting poses, 
and they'll make for some nice character figures, I think, for your World War II games. So, that's it. My favourite miniature releases of this week. I hope you spotted something that you found interesting. And don't forget you can always catch my regular audio podcast at www.mipplesandminiatures.co.uk. Have a good week, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.